that was not how I, what I wanted to happen. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, or something. Oh, there it goes. Four. It, it worked. Bam! It stamped it. That was really cool. And then it pops off. Boom! Just like that. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. We're here. We're doing things. Some people don't like that. I don't know why. I love it. I love it. I've always wanted a reason to say welcome to my world. I've always had, like, my own world, whether it be in video games or, like, my room is my world kind of thing, but I've always wanted to say it to a bunch of... I don't know why. It's really weird. It's a weird little thing. But now that I have, it's awesome, and I like it. So anyway, welcome to my world. And we're here. We're doing things, and I've done a little bit of stuff. Uh, I, I hooked back up our little stif sifting process thing over there, so now we're getting things. And I made a little uh, import bus directly into our network, so now everything is going to be going into here. We're going to be reacquiring a bunch of this stuff, and that's going to go pretty well. That's going to go pretty well. We're going to continue getting our resources, and we're going to continue being able to access them from here. So that's fine. Right now, we don't have to worry about any acceleration upgrades or anything. Just an import bus is fast enough to take care of it. But eventually, we're going to have, like, I don't know, a huge amount of all those guys up there. Uh, I don't know why, just because one of these days, they're pretty easy to make. So just going to, like, auto-craft, like, 14 of each. And then we're going to have 15 of each total. And then it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be amazing. Um, just to see that many in operation, but we got to work on power. Power is one thing we got to do, but we're not going to do that today. Today we have a different task. I want to automate things, right? So the next portion that we need to make for our little, uh, room down here, the little AE situation is actually the disc drives, which this guy is going to have to move at some point. Actually, you know what? We can do this right now. Give me, did we get them both? I think we got them both here and then there oh look at that you're moved again there's your channel and now everything's in okay we're good uh, and the reason we did that is because our disk drives are actually going to go here disk drive I, I keep calling them disk drives not disk drives just me drives uh our me drives are going to go along here we're going to probably have uh basically the same amount of me drives as we do deep storage just so it's kind of symmetrical and it kind of works and fits uh and you know then they're all going to be filled except for one set which is going to be all 4k's just right here we're going to have that one right on the bottom corner all the rest are going to have 64k which is really really cool um i think it's gonna that'll be plenty of storage it should be plenty of storage because anything that really takes up a huge amount of space we're just going to have in deep storage units anyway so we should if if we use all of that room then something is very very wrong with our situation and it needs to be looked at but uh yeah i also put these guys in the ceiling right here with some slabs right on top so that way it looks a little bit better um yeah no it's pretty cool uh yeah you know now we have access to that stuff and i tore these guys down i also made an interface terminal so now this is like i was telling you in all of the interfaces up here there is, uh, you know, you can go in directly to put your patterns in, or you can come to the terminal and you have access to all of them right off the bat. So in order to get all of that stuff going, it was it was pretty simple. I mean, I've already made these guys. I've uh, already showed you how to make a terminal. The terminal <laughs> interface terminal. It's pretty simple. Engineering processor interface, which we already had a bunch of, and illuminated pan illuminated panel, which we already had one of as well. We had the last one because when you craft these guys, you get three of them. Not that one. This one. When you craft these guys, you get three. We only use the two. So yeah. And then uh, this chest, and then import bus. Import bus. That's the other one I got to show you. Import is also pretty simple. Not the fluid. Just this guy. Sticky piston. Really. Annihilation court. We already had one of those. We had three extra of each. Two iron, not a problem at all. So we have all of that stuff. It was really easy to get uh, that little bit set up, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, and the only reason this chest is here, I could have the uh, import bus directly on these pipes. I think I can. Uh, but I just wanted some kind of buffer zone, basically. So if, for some reason, we do start collecting too many items here or whatever, then things will still work. It, was, it won't break anything. Also... I didn't show you last time that the, the uh, Enderman head here, <laughs> it doesn't have a mini version apparently, which is really weird actually. It's, yeah. You're wrong. Fix yourself. No? All right, fine. Anyway, so 
In order to get the ME drives, or that many ME drives, I want to auto-craft them, which makes a whole lot of sense. So if you go to drive, what do we need? What do we need? Oh, hello. Blast resistant ME drive. Extra cells. We have extra cells too, which that's pretty cool. In order to get the ME drive, we have these guys. Now, that's a lot of engineering processors. I could definitely get it because it's just diamonds, uh, and we do have that many diamonds. Well, okay. We don't have that many diamonds. We have, how many diamonds do we have? In here, and we go up here, I think it's like 100 and something diamonds. 100, almost 200. So we can almost make a, a 100. Yeah, I guess we probably would have enough. Uh, what was it, like 70? So we would need 140 diamonds to, to, to make all of the ME drives that we want. So we could do it that way, and that would work. But this is me, right? I do do manual stuff sometimes when it's warranted, like the import bus and stuff. But I prefer to let something else do it for me. Why not? So we're going to try to autocraft this. The problem is that we need to autocraft in order, like, we can autocraft these guys with that stuff. I mean, these are just recipes. Fluix, even the Fluix can be autocrafted. Uh, there is a way to do this, and I will get into that in the future, but right now, that's not what we're going to focus on. We need to craft these guys, and in order to craft these guys, we don't really need more inscribers, but we certainly want more inscribers, so it's a lot faster. That is definitely something we want. Having more inscribers, yes, background noise, pro impromptu cut, good, done deal. So, uh, <laughs> you know, in the past, I have cut the video like that and just kind of instantly gone to the next clip. And people ask me, so if I don't say that it was background noise, people are like, what happened? So, yeah, background noise, it, it does. Anyway, so having the inscribers automated how we want them automated and having a bunch of them is actually going to help with more than just me drives for example we can also help it helps uh craft the acceleration cards because these guys right here require calculation uh in which we're going to have to go through and automate the production of pure crystals as well i mean we have a lot of stuff to automate and the recipes in this are so ridiculous we will undoubtedly fill up like if we go into the end, this is 13 times nine. We're going to fill up all of these very fast with recipes. Uh, the, <laughs> patterns is what they're called. Patterns, not recipe. Um, yeah, there's, this is going to fill up so super freaking quick. It's, it's ridiculous. It's going to be crazy. So we're going to need a lot more than just this. But this is just to get us started. Anyway, as I was saying, in order to pro make these guys, we want to automate the process of these guys because eventually we're going to want to make even more. Uh, plus, it's just simple. So... These guys, not a problem. Sticky pistons, we can do that pattern right now. Right now, we can do that pattern. So if we go into our pattern terminal, let's check out. Uh, first, we have to make the piston in itself, right? So if we go into and do this and go to piston, we want to do that. That's our pattern. Pattern number one is the piston. All right, then we clear that out of here. Now what we want to do is go ahead and craft the sticky piston. We want to get the gelatinous slime, I think, because uh, we do get a huge amount of it. We might make a couple of different patterns, uh, but we do have a bunch of these guys. I don't know if we'll ever run out, but if we do, we'll, we'll revisit that. I mean, 2,900 pistons before we continue to get more slime. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I really don't. Uh, I, I don't. I don't see that being an issue, but now we have a, a sticky piston. And there, there, there's that. So now we can just go ahead and be like, bloop, bloop. And I like to skip one because skipping one, now, while it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get some in, uh, in different slots as far as over here. For example, if we were to put uh, a piston in here and a sticky piston in here, then this guy right here, when trying to make the sticky piston, might try to use this one to make it after the first piston is made and then it will have to pr uh, halt. It would have to stop and wait for this guy to finish the pistons. Now, it's not going to take that long. It's really not going to be a big deal. But if I were crafting, say, 200 pistons, and after the first one, this one was like, I want to use this one to try to craft my sticky pistons, then it would wait forever before it would actually, uh, for this guy to finish, and that could take, you know, upwards of a minute. So if we skip one, in theory, then this guy could use all of the room it needs in either one of these slots to use the sticky pistons as the pistons are being created. Now, we would need coprocessors for that. We don't have them yet, so right now it is going to wait anyway. 
There's no reason for it not to. It doesn't have the capability to not wait. But eventually, this guy is going to get a huge, huge, huge upgrade. Uh, so, And plus, we're going to have more of them. We'll be able to do multiple processes, blah, 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 blah. So you get the idea. But right now, we're just future planning by, doing, by skipping one like that. Uh, it's just what we're doing. So now that we have the sticky piston auto-crafted, if we go back to the inscriber, we have some other things that we really need to get working on. Uh, and I don't know how far in this process we're going to be able to get. Uh, pure Certus Quartz Crystals, we're not going to work on these yet. Uh, I, I need to look up a couple other things. I think I know how to do it, but I'm not 100%. I've done it various different ways. I want to know what the best way is. i got to figure that out. Uh, but I do know of a couple. I mean, you have the... Uh, what is it called? The drop. Uh, there, first, you could use the dropper. There's there's a drop. You could literally use a dropper. That was a dopper, not a dropper. I don't know what a dopper is. But you could use the dropper or the item dropper. Uh, and you could also use... Oh, I forget what it's... Crate. Crate? Is it crate? Uh, that's create. Crate. Um, there's, there's a... Open crate. That's what it is. That's one thing I usually use is this guy from Batania. Uh, this is one thing I've used in the past, and then there's also the plane from AE2, which is kind of what I want to do. The Annihilation plane will destroy blocks, the Formation plane will create them, and I believe the Formation plane will also be able to drop items. If you send an item into it that cannot be placed, it will instead drop it. So then you put this over top of water where, you know, surrounding their little process of your pure crystals and stuff, you can drop them and then use a creative process to suck those up into your system, blah, 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 blah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole big thing. And I've done it before. Um, we're going to work on that in the future. Just a few tips in case that's for some reason why you're here. Why is it orangey? I feel like it's not. I'm just going crazy. Anyway, uh, but the first thing that I want to look at is actually... <laughs> probably the hardest one to do because it's got a rabbit hole of its own uh well one we have this guy which is also a rabbit hole of its own but it does require rubber which we don't have a way to automate you just yet uh we we have to get all the rubber manually and that's we're gonna be working on that very very soon to uh, a way to automate that and it's probably gonna be a harvester or something at least temporarily i don't really want to use machines i want to find different ways to do things but uh for right now we need to automate it so we'll probably use like a harvester and stuff but also, the coolant cells, which will require the, uh, not really the bottler, actually. Uh, we'll need that guy, which we need, oh yes, this stuff, and I don't know. There's a whole thing in there. Um, I have to look up coolant. Coolant. Like a so. We need the fluid canning machine, so we'll have to attach an interface to this. We'll also need to inject a whole bunch of water in order to turn it into coolant with lapis lazuli. That'll all have to be sent to the second. There's so much to do, peeps. It's ridiculous how much crap we gotta do to get this up and operational. And this is just to automate the inscribers. Like, it's so crazy. And then the other thing that we gotta do... This is also not, you know, this that one is not what we're doing. We're not doing the coolant cell thing just yet. I want to go ahead and get the hardest one first. The machine frames, resonant, these are very, very, very handy. All right? These are incredibly handy. So what I want to do is actually automate the process of gathering every single one of these items and then have it automatically create this. Like, I don't... <laughs> this, is, this is a ridiculously complicated process. Um, and it's it's undoubtedly the hardest one to actually get working just because there's so much extra involved i'm gonna try to walk you through everything that needs to be oh what no sleep i said not jump 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 is don't jump on your bed so jumping on the bed doesn't pass time and that technically does pass time it does take time to jump on your bed so yeah but it doesn't make the night go away instantly like sleeping does uh but anyway why are you creeper faced do you have stuff in you you don't that's just what you look like. I had no idea you ever had a creeper face. I knew the Enderman on the front. I did not know the creeper. Do you have another something? Oh, you have a skeleton. That's really cool. I had no idea. What's on the other side? Oh, a zombie. Perfect. All right. So anyway, in order to get this thing working, we have a little bit to do. Okay. Step one, the dense refined iron. So what I need to do is go ahead and hook up, automate the induction smelter to pull in 
9 iron and 18 coal. The 18 coal has to go directly into a sag mill. That sag mill has to be pulled, or that uh, coal dust needs to be pulled out and sent into the induction smelter to make that, which then has to be sent into the metal former to make 9 uh, steel plates, which then have to go into the compressor to make the dents. That, these four machines right here, are what is required for step one of this guy. Then we have to go here, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, we do, we just need to hook the rock crusher up to our system with an interface. I think that should, in theory, work because you can inject into any side. The catch with this one is that our obsidian is way over here and it is not currently attached to our system. So what we want to do is actually pipe the obsidian that comes from here and have it sent into our network, uh, into our deep storage. So the problem with that is that we're using all of this stuff as we go so we will never ever 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 have enough lava to keep up so we'll have to make a bunch more lava fabricators so we craft it faster than it can use it uh and and that'll be a thing in the future but for now we just need to pipe all of the obsidian that comes out of this barrel down into the pipe that's leading down into our system over there so that way it can actually be injected into our system and everything will work just fine uh, for that, and then we'll have the obsidian, and then we can auto craft with it, which will be fun. <sighs> the next thing is the intricate circuit board, which isn't too incredibly complicated because it's just redstone and gold, both of which we have full access to already in our network. But we do need to hook up the carpenter with one power and two water. So that'll be a thing, but again, that's not too big of a deal. And eventually, when we need to make other supplies, such as what we have in here now, uh, the other circuit board, I guess, uh, we'll have to make a second carpenter so we don't have to keep changing out the recipes. <sighs> then we need to do the enderium gear, which I'm thinking about making the metal press. Uh, how do you get this? Just a gold gear and a bunch of refined? I think I might just do that. What is the metal press? Maybe we'll make the metal press to get started on this stuff because we're not going to get anywhere close to finishing this thing. Not anywhere close, peeps. We're not going to get there today. Um... <laughs> metal press what no go back i want the metal press why is why do i type in metal press and have this not show up how do we make this machine because that's the only way to do it is this an immersive engineering machine i'm thinking this is an ie machine so if we go uh we need to go back to our system uh, uh, speed sprint air sprint thing fall check got it okay we're done now go down and go down and then go into whoa spin around I always have a problem with symmetry. I like symmetry too much. I try to mix it up. I try to make things different. But what always inevitably happens in every series I ever do, I always get lost in my own base. I come down and I'm like, wait, nope, not that way. Nope, not that way. Nope, not that way. Because they all look the friggin' same. Change it up, Zog. You're doing wrong. You're just... Ugh. Anyway, so what we want to do is go ahead. Um, uh, handbook? No. I forget what it's called. I, the Immersion Engineer, Engineers, Engineer, there you are, hello, how are you, help me out, because I need, um, heavy machinery, metal press, perfect, whoa, 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 multi-block structures, I see, under pressure, what do I have to do, power is input through the top, and items through the conveyors, obviously in the direction of movement, well, fine then. Be that way. Be dummy. Okay, so we have to... Play. Stop. Down. Oh, what? 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 Stop. No, stop. Play. What? What? Stop. Oh! I'm confused. How do... Show me how to make the blocks, though. The metal press is an automated way of shaping metal. It uses high-pressure piston to press mold into an ingot... Onto an ingot... Forming it into a plate, rod, or other metal components. The structure is created as shown above. To form the multi-block, click the piston with the engineer ha hammer. Okay. You show me the thing, but you don't tell me... Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So we need three steel scaffolding, one piston, two conveyor belts, and one heavy engineering block. Go back. There we go. Okay, so three scaffolding. Three. Okay. And then that. Okay, looks like a piston pushed downward. 
and then two conveyors on either side moving in one of those directions and then the heavy engineering block and then it kind of makes it ma makes the thing okay so we need to look at doing this i think i think that's what we're going to do today i couldn't figure it out i couldn't figure it out at all um uh, steel scaffolding <laughs> steel scaffolding you uh wait which one you're both the same what's the difference you Okay, so we need three steel ingots and three steel fence, and we get six of them, so we only need three. We only need one of these. All right, not a problem. Steel fence is six steel rods, and you get two. I need three, so I need two of those recipes, so I need 12 steel rods, which is that. You get four. Oh, sheesh. Okay, so I need three of these, so two, four, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine steel. In order to get these and we'll be able to make two metal presses we're not going to do that right away we're just going to make the one but yeah then we need the conveyor right conveyor not not a problem actually i think i have some of these already because i was i was making them i was playing with them i don't why don't i have those what happened to them did i throw them away i don't know they're not difficult to make oh i only need one piece of leather i could have made them already uh, but you see, they're not really difficult. I just need one piece of leather, so that's not that's not hard. A piston, okay, and then a heavy engineering block. Engineer, no, that's not working. What about heavy? Yeah, this guy, heavy heavy engineering blocks. That's exactly what we need. Ooh, you're a little bit more complicated. Electrum, okay, I think I have that already. Pistons, we can auto craft those. Steel, we can get that without a problem. And these guys, ooh, four steel. And a copper. That's actually no problem. So 4, 8, 12, plus the 9 we already needed, already needed. So 21 steel, 2 pistons, an electrum ingot, one more piece of leather, and what else do we need? The piston. So 3 pistons. I think that's it. Did I get it all? I don't know. But you see what I needed. Let me gather the supplies and we'll start crafting this stuff. Also, I didn't really mention this, but uh, I have changed the way I'm recording a little bit. Uh, I'm splitting up the mic track. So, so how do I explain this? <laughs> um, uh, what, when you're watching a video file, you can have basically, uh, you can have different audios on, or different audio sources on different layers of a video. So on layer one, I can have the stuff coming from my computer, like the game sounds and things like that. And on another, I can have the stuff coming from my microphone. Um, and what this is gonna allow me to do is, is having them separate, is that I can change the, the volumes of them separately so that I can kind of tweak my volume and the game volume to, to, to match them better. And I can do this after the fact. So that way, even if the game is super loud in a place or even if uh, you know, I'm really quiet for whatever reason. I can boost my volume or I can lower the game sounds. It's really cool. It's a handy little thing. I'm just, I'm mentioning that because in the past I have had certain issues uh, with audio levels and all this other good stuff. So, yeah, that's a thing. I just wanted to mention that. Now, we should have all the supplies. I think we do. We need three of these guys, but we need these guys. So, bam, one, two, and three. Now we have 12, so we can put you away. We can go like this. Two, four. Now we have all of those. Put those away. I already had two of the steel rods, apparently. And we can do this. I only need one set of those. We don't want to use all the steel because we we just made enough. Just enough. We made just enough. Um, and then the conveyors, uh, which I should actually have the ability to make now. Convey these guys. Uh, bam. Now we have eight of them. We only needed, you know, two. But, hey, it is what it is. And then uh, the piston we already had. I don't know why I, I put it back. We actually just needed, kind of needed that guy. Um, and then we need the heavy, heavy, this guy right here. So we need to make you, bam, one, two, done. Then we go back up here and shift click and we should have this. Oh, we get two of them? Oh, that's handy. I only need the one, but okay, cool. Put you guys back. <laughs> I only need one. So now we should have all the components for this. Uh, actually, we only need two of those. We can put the rest of you back. Everything else. Oh, wait. And there we go. Okay, so three, two, one, and one. 
We should have everything we need, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building a little platform out in this direction so we can start placing down some of these automation things that we want to do. Uh, this is also where our assembly table is going to come eventually and this, all of the other stuff. We're going to build out in this direction, maybe another direction too, but I'm thinking about making this direction my bedroom. Uh, since we don't we haven't had a proper one of those ever in the series and then this way is obviously this is going to be the drive storage that I was telling you about so this way is a bedroom and this way is everything else pretty much how that's gonna work and we can pretty much go in any direction over here I'm not gonna limit myself in that direction at all in in that way it will no longer be symmetrical maybe just maybe I can remember which way I need to go <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so that's good let me build out a little platform um, I'm not sure how exactly I want this set up, but I do need to play with it a little bit to see if we can actually get it working. Uh, and then I will bring you back to show you what I have going on, I guess. Okay, and we're back. Uh, <laughs> here's our little platform. Now, the basic idea, number one, is that we do have lighting problems. I'm curious, peeps. What do you think about lighting? I was told before about the whole... Uh, Powered lights, powered lights, these guys, but I don't like the idea of having to, uh, to actually power them. They bother me. The, the, the idea, okay, okay. Now, real life, you have to power your lights. That's a thing. But there are naturally glowing ones as well. I mean, it's cool that they include the idea of a powered light like we have in real life and stuff, but it's not Minecrafty in my opinion. I don't want to run power to every single one of my lights. We use lights everywhere. This is ridiculous. Anyway, so you get the, you get what I'm saying. What, what kind of lighting options do we have? What kind of cool lights have you seen in Minecraft? Because I really want to know. Uh, right now I'm using glowstone nooks, which, yeah, they worked. I mean, they're okay. They're not, oh, oh no, give me that back. Perfect. Um, you know, they're not terrible, but they're not ideal either. I want some cool ones, something that is okay if it's showing kind of stuff. But anyway, so uh, we do have that problem. The other thing is that these guys will be hidden at some point. So we're going to have like the uh, facades on top, on the, on the front of these. AE has facades so you can completely hide them. It looks like a full block. It's completely invisible. And we're going to have a wall here. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should move this over one so it's right beside it. We only have a one wall. I was thinking that right here is going to be an actual wall of blocks, but we don't need that because we have slots on every single place of this so that we can put another facade and it would look just fine. Um, as long as it's a material that is okay to be tiled. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so let's do this. Uh, we have this guy. Now, this isn't going to be completely automated just yet. I want to see if it works first. But one, two, three, and then we have this. We're going to face here in both directions. One. Oh, look, road to nowhere. What? Is, oh, is that because I just placed it? Is that what that is? Place a conveyor belt. Got it. Okay, one, two. Oh. Oh, wait. We got to do a thing. One. Hover. Place. Go down. Unhover. Do this. I think the piston has to be facing down. Whoa. I think it has to be facing down. So if you go like this. Nope, that's wrong. Give me. Um, I don't know if it matters, actually. But we're going to we're gonna make it face down anyway. Ugh. Bloop. Like so. Okay, now we're good. Now we're fine. Just one. And then we can break this guy. And then we go on top with this. Hover. Place. Got it. Okay, so that should be what we need. I think what we got to do now is actually get our engineering hammer, I believe. Um, engineer, here, this, right here. Engineer's hammer. And then also, I want to see how much enderium we have. Endear, e, I have no nuggets or ingots. Oh, we have blocks. Oh, no, that's enter tank frame. That's not what we want. Enderium. I have no enderium for realsies. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to have to go get that later. But we should be able to just like whack it or whack it or what? What? <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. I'm trying to make the thing. Whoa, too far, too far. Uh, hand, uh, engine, this. If we go over to this, now, Batania has a way that you can kind of look at it and then right click and it'll take you right to it. I don't know. I think that's just the page we were on. But anyway, the structure is created as shown above, which looks like I have it accurate. It looks like I've done everything. Three steel scaffolding, one piston, two conveyor belt, and one heavy engineering block. Yeah. Uh, to form the multi-block, click the piston with an engineering hammer. There it goes. Now we did it. That's better. And now the yeah, there we go. 
So I don't know how exactly it works. I know we need to power it. It needs RF. We need to, we need to, whoa, we need to give it power. Do we, where's our uh, Tesseract? You know what we can do? Hold on, let's, let's, let's do some trickery with this. Come here, you. Oh, this is gonna take a while. This is gonna take a pretty long while. Come on, break already. Thank you. All right, so now we can go over here. And we're gonna go down into this little crevice, crevasse. Let's go down here, dip, bloop, got it. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here. Go down on the ground. We're gonna get some LV wire stuffs. Uh, one, two, let's get three just in case. And one, two, three, just in case. And then we'll go like this. What we can do is take directly from the Tesseract. I said directly from the Tesseract and go like, can we go on top? Is this the thing we can do or is that gonna be obstructed? Yes, it connects. It shouldn't connect because it is still going through a block. Usually you have to break the block and then it works like that. But anyway, uh, and then it receives power from on top. So we go like this, bloop, and then go like this, bloop. And now it should be getting power. Yes, you're getting power. Congratulations. Now we just need to go get the Enderium. All right, it's time to test this guy out. But before we can do the Enderium gear, I do have a bunch of Enderium here. Uh, we, we had a bunch over in that smeltery where we have all our blood. If you don't know where that is, uh, too bad. But, oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. Uh, plate. Yes! One, two, three, four. I don't know why I have the crafting stuff over here. Which one did I put it in? This one? This one. Okay. Nope. Just bring them all to the same crafting table. They're not interdimensional. Now we have the, the mold. So how do we put this guy in? Do we just, like, right-click it? Oh, it's in! Okay, that's perfect. So can we like just drop? Whoa! Wow! That was not how I, what I wanted to happen. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, or something. Oh, there it goes four. It it worked. Bam! It stamped it. That was really cool. And then it pops off. Boom! Just like that. So if we like, can we just like? Duh? No. It has to be dropped on top. Okay. Ugh. It's only one. Nope. Okay. Two, three. Four. There it goes. Okay, so it basically stays at the end and waits. It waits for it to be done. But now with the metal press thing here, that's actually really, really, really easy. I like that a lot better than the sinker smeltery. Even though it's an immersive engineering, and I'm not a huge fan of immersive engineering, I don't hate immersive engineering. I like that it's uh, it's definitely different. You know, they have they have a lot of multi-block structures. A lot of them look really, really amazing. Like this guy right here is really, really cool looking. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the power transfer, but that's just how they decided to do it. I may, not, I may not agree with it, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just a different thing that I'm not a huge fan of, uh, which is the only reason I, I, I'm going to stay away from the immersive engineering power whenever I can. Now, for things like this, the short distance stuff, I'll probably do just with LV connectors from various Tesseracts and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm not going to use it for a huge variety of, of like power transfer across my base or anything. I'll use other pipes instead, especially once we get auto crafting up and running. Uh, and the only reason I would ever use the immersive engineering powering is when I'm trying to power one of their machines that needs uh, EU. But this is RF, so I could probably plug power right into the top with any other cable and it would probably work just fine. But this does, I don't know, it, it lends itself better to the look because this has a certain look. Like it's all rustic and machinery and I don't know what that type is called. But this kind of fits better with it. It's I don't know, it looks okay. It's not absolutely terrible, but it is pretty cool. We have a metal press now, which is really, really amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I like it. And now we're, we're started. So now we can get the, the gears that we need and we can work on automating this. We can pull out from our system the Enderium gears, uh, Enderium ingots, put them into here and then go over here. Uh, send them over and suck them back into our system so that uh, AE can see that they are then included in its inventory and then they can send them to the assembler. So step one is complete. We can do that. It's not a big deal. But anyway, that is about all the time I have left. This stuff is so in-depth, so in-depth with its, its crafting. Like they're all rabbit holes. Every single one of them is a rabbit hole. You say, hey, I want to automate the process of creating an inscriber and it's like five episodes of automating processes of everything. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so crazy, but it is what it is. We will get through it. I hope you're liking it. I, hope, I really do. If you are liking the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe, comment, favorite, share, feeling you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps. Why are you empty?
What are you? Your thing. Why are you guys here? Oh, I know what that is. Okay, never mind. 